Now look at this What's up, everybody? Today we're going to do topic 6.3 on transcription and RNA processing. So first we need to talk about what transcription is. So transcription is where we're going to use a DNA template and we're going to synthesize an mRNA strand. So the central dogma states that we go from DNA to RNA to a polypeptide. Um, so we first go through transcription, then we go through translation. So there are some things that violate the central dogma. HIV is an example of a retrovirus. Retroviruses have a RNA genome. They use that RNA as a template to synthesize DNA. And so they violate the central dogma by going from RNA to DNA first. There are three different types of RNA. The first type of RNA is your messenger RNA. This is the RNA that's going to leave the nucleus after being transcribed with the DNA to bring the message to the ribosome. This is what's going to have your codon sequence that's going to base pair up with the anticodons. tRNA is where those anticodons are. That's going to transfer the amino acid from the cytosol to the ribosome. Um, and then the anticodon on the tRNA will base pair up with the codon on the mRNA. And then your rRNA is your ribosomal RNA. This is going to combine with proteins to synthesize the small and large subunit of the ribosome. In case you forgot, the ribosome is the site of protein synthesis. So as you see, all three of these RNA are going to interact at the ribosome. rRNA makes up the ribosome, mRNA brings the message to the ribosome, and tRNA is going to bring the amino acids to the ribosome. Positive transcription is going to synthesize RNA under the direction of DNA. So just like what we saw in replication, DNA is going to be read 3' prime to 5', prime, and the mRNA will be synthesized 5' prime to 3'. Prime. That way they are anti-parallel. Um, notice that the template strand is going to have multiple names. It is the template strand, the non-coding strand, or the anti-sense strand. All three of these terms are directly in the CED, and you must know those terms. So the enzyme responsible for transcription is RNA polymerase. This is just like DNA polymerase in the fact that the enzyme tells you what it does. RNA polymerase makes a RNA polymer. It's going to pry apart the two different strands. It's going to base pair, and after it passes through that section, the two DNA strands come right back together. So it doesn't need to have single strand binding protein or anything else to keep it apart. It's able to pry it apart just as far as it needs it. So three different things will happen after transcription. First thing, we had a five prime cap. We also add a poly A tail, and we'll cut out the intron. The function of the 5' prime end is to allow for the export of the mRNA out of the nucleus. It also provides a site for the ribosome to bind to the 5' prime end because translation is going to take place at the 5' prime end of the mRNA. Poly A tail is going to protect the mRNA from hydrolytic enzymes that occur in the cytosol that's going to deteriorate or break down that uh, mRNA. And then cutting out those introns is going to allow us to remove the non-coding information. During this process of RNA splicing, we're able to cut out different introns and exons, and so we can make a different mRNA from the same pre-mRNA.